Hello friends, welcome to Leslie Bonsai Gardens again, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour of what I have going on around here this spring. So, most of my trees are sleeping, but I'll let you know what's going on, or I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> Well, right here, I got some stars off my hedges here. I got them pretty long. I don't really need them that long, but I have them this long. See, got little buds on them. They're budding out. And if they grow, cool. If not, oh well, no losses. More of an experiment, if anything. <clears throat> These are from last year, I don't know if you remember, but these are ditch irises that I put in a pot, trying to make them grow. There's new starts coming up. This is that arborvita that I've been working on. Starting to get the sap flowing, so you're seeing the green and not so much of the copper look from the cold. found this tree this spring still seems to be doing okay it's a little pine I believe found this guy this spring this is that Alberta spruce from last year these are all new from this spring all these guys including this guy these guys are from last year see they have the copper color they're starting to get their green back i've had these guys for several couple uh, uh about three years now that's a new guy these guys are all going on their second season now and pots I molded see you can see the little feet see <laughs> there's that cotton Easter all right we'll move along here got a bunch of willow that I trimmed up and I'm just rooting out Got some seeds going here from a Kentucky coffee tree. Uh, plum, some random trees that I have going here. And a couple ash trees. This is my stowaway spruce. See that beauty? I got that one this spring. That is a black walnut. Hold on, guys. Here's a Japanese maple that it's not looking too good. I hope he comes back around. There's a ash I've had for like three years. Here's a one I found this spring. Pretty little juniper. This is my wild tree field right here. You can't really see them that well. Uh, wild catalpas. I have ash trees. I have, um, I believe there's some. Oh, what is that? Looks like some thornless honey locusts. Got some seeds grown in here, or I put in here some sumac. I hope they grow. Found these these spring. These are some maples. Got a whole bunch of maples here of different 
um, types doing different things. They're still thinking about opening up. Not much is going on. Some different catalpas I found. Some seeds. These are some smoke trees. Then I have this juniper that I found. Have some Japanese maples coming up. These are tiny catalpas. That's the unicorn tree. Cascading catalpa I'm working on. This one's tipped over. This one's in that recent repot video. Here's that bigger one. Here's all my catalpas that need homes. Here's all my willows. They're all awake or in the process of awakening. Look at that twisty guy. There's the big bay willow. Here's a corkscrew. Look at these guys. This guy is turning out pretty wicked. This is a weeping willow. Come around and look at it from this angle too. This is a bay willow. An ash in a cascade style. Yeah, these are all my other willows that have woke up. You can see them from a different angle here. My little rose. As a thornless honey locust, that little stick. <laughs> Fairly new. Let's see. Some weeping willows. Got a plum that I cut back because I felt it was too long. Some seeds and some random stuff. An ash that was growing right by my door. Some more of those privets. Everything doesn't look like much now. Because they're all sleeping. Here's a small Catalpa forest I was working on last year. They survived. My, um, Sequoia. This is the corkscrew willow um, grove. It's, it's, I want to make it look more like it's a, like on a beach, like the end of a beach. Something. My thoughts keep changing. If you look really close on my apricot, you can see the little buds. Yeah, is that cool or what? And then look at this, guys. A bunch of Amora maples. I have these for sale, too. Got some more planted, some different things, but look at all those sprouting. More than I'm going to need. See, this guy's opening up. This guy already opened up. These are elms. 
That's a gnome. That's like a privet. Catalpa. An oak. This is an Amora maple that's opening up. These are some ginkgo seeds that I hope open. This is my sage that I hope comes out of it. Another maple and a sumac that really looks cool. And then here's my honeysuckle. Look at that beautiful thing. I don't really know what to do with it yet, but it's still beautiful. Here's another juniper that I found. Right, these are all the catalpas that are for sale. These guys are two years old. They are hardy trees. They can... These are for shade trees. Those guys are definitely for sale, so hit me up if you want one. Alright. I think I hit everybody. Oh. Check. Got one more. Let's see. Hold on. I have one more cool thing to show you. This is a cutting off of a big willow tree. And this is my newest project. I'm trying to make a big willow bonsai with this huge willow. I want to see what I can do. Pretty cool, huh? Those are two separate things. Yeah, with this smaller one, I'm going to dice that up and see what I can do with it. But this bigger one... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it's going to be a bigger bonsai project. Anyways, see you guys later. Have fun. Do something green and protect yourself and your family and stay safe. Peace.